Hello, Mr. Dre back with another video. And in this one, what we want you to do is read over the chart at the top of this paper and solve each problem. There's one problem in each box. Solve each problem. Um, and after you work on each problem, we want you to pause the video and then resume it to see how you did because we'll go over um, how to solve each problem. So. Um, Take, take it one problem at a time, pause it, check your work, and then move on to the next one, okay? So we'll, we'll try to remind you when to pause. All right, so if you look at this problem right here about pencils, why don't you go ahead, pause it, read the problem, and then resume to see how you did. All right, so you read the chart, you read this first problem about pencils, and now we are ready to solve. So let's first of all, let's read it. If pencils are packed 16 to a box, how many boxes of pencils did the school store sell? So if you look up at the top, um, it looks like they sold 784 pencils. So we're going to take that whole group of pencils, all 784. And since we're putting them into 16 to a group, we're dividing them into groups of 16, right? So we're gonna do 784, and we're dividing them into groups of 16, and we wanna see how many groups were there, how, in this case, how many boxes were there, right? So this is our first problem, 784 divided by 16. So when I think of 16, I'm kind of rounding up, I'm kind of, here's my thought bubble, I'm kind of thinking of 20, and I'm gonna focus on that too, right? Well, 16 obviously can't go into 7, so we put a little placeholder there, but 16 can go into 78. So I'm thinking 2, right? My 2 times tables going into 7. I'm focusing on this 7, or 20 into 78, or 2 into 7. So I think it can go um, about 3 or 4 times. Since I rounded up, I'm going to try 4. So I'm going to go um, 16 times 4 off to the side, and when I do that, I get 64, which is pretty close to 78. So I'm going to try 4, okay, which gives me 64. And when I subtract, I get 14, which is less than my divisor, so I'm good. Now I'm going to drop this 4 down, and my new number is 144. So if I would do 16 times 10, that would get me 160 right? So 160 is a, is a little bit bigger than 144. So instead of 10, let's try 9. I'm going to try 16 times 9 right here and see what I get. Uh, 9 times 6 is 54. 5 goes up. Uh-oh, look at this. Exactly. It's exactly 9 times. So I do 9. I get 144. There's no remainder. So let's look back up at the question here. If pencils are packed 16 to a box, how many boxes of pencils did the school store sell? And my answer was 49 remainder zero. And since my, my, my question was how many boxes, my answer must be 49 boxes of pencils were sold. Okay, so 49 boxes of pencils were sold. All right, so that was the first one. Let's go through and take a look at the next one. Go ahead and pause the video, read this. This one's about book bags. Pause it, read it, solve it, and then we'll come back and see how you did. All right, so you read the second problem, you solved it. Let's take a look and see how you did. Let's read it. The school store sold $1,664 worth of book bags. How much did each book bag cost? So here we're given the total amount of money that the book bags sold for all together. And we don't know how much, we don't have a price guide here. We don't know how much each one cost, but we do know how many book bags they sold. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna divide 1,664 by how many book bags they sold, which was 64. That's gonna be our division problem, right? So I don't know my 64 times tables, but I'm gonna think of 64 as 60, and I'm gonna focus on that six. I'm gonna be thinking of my 
six times tables, right? Well, 64 can't go into one. 64 can't go into 16, so 64 is gonna go all the way into 166. And I'm gonna be thinking, okay, how many times can six go into 16? Well, once, twice, almost three times, but not quite, only twice. So I'm gonna do 64 times two, and I get 128. Now 128 isn't that close to 166, but when we subtract, you'll see that it's close enough, right? It's, it's 38 away, but it, it, it's way less than the divisor, so we're all good. Now we're gonna bring this four down, and our new number is 384. Now we're thinking, okay, how many times can 64 go into 384? And what I'm focusing on is how many times can six go into 38? That's what I'm testing out in my head. Well, I know six times six is 36, so that sounds pretty good. Let's try 64 times six. And notice how we're doing a lot of guessing and checking here, right? 24, up, oh, look at this, 36 plus two is 38. It goes exactly six times. Okay. So 26 and no remainder. Let's look back up at our question and let's restate. How much did each book bag cost? Well, we can say each bag, book bag cost $26. Okay. All right. So we're two, two down. Last one. Read this last one. This one's about uh, binders and paper. So read this last one, uh, pause it, solve it, and then resume the video and see how you did. Okay, so you read this last problem, you paused it. Let's see how you did, right? Let's read it. A binder, a binder can hold 45 sheets of paper. How many binders can be filled with the amount of paper that was sold? So, well, we wanna know how many binders can be filled. We don't know. What we do know is each binder can hold 45 sheets and that there were 616 pieces of paper sold. So we're gonna take the entire group of um, paper, which was six, 616 sheets, and we're gonna divide that into groups of 45, right? Because we know that each binder holds 45. And after we divide this, we're gonna be told how many binders could be filled up, right? So 45, I'm thinking in my head 50, right? Because 45 rounds up to 50, so I'm gonna focus on that five. Um, 45 obviously can't go into six, but it can go into 61, and obviously it can only go one time, right? So one times 45 is 45. I subtract, and I get 16. Okay, 16 is less than 45. I'm gonna bring this six down and our new numbers, 166. All right, so um, I'm thinking it might be able to go in four times. Let's see what happens if I try. I have 166 divided by 45. I'm gonna try four. Uh-oh, too big, right? It's 180, that's too big. So let's try three. 45 times three. 13, 135, which fits into 166. And since four was too big, we know it has to be three, right? So three goes up, 135 comes down. When we subtract, we get 31. So we have 13, there's nothing left to bring down, so we know that 31 is our remainder. But what does this mean, right? What does this mean? It's one thing to be able to do a division problem and get the right answer, but what does the, the answer actually mean? Well, the, um, let's look back up at our question. How many binders can be filled with the amount of paper that was sold? So if we look at our answer, 13 remainder 31, what does that mean? 13 binders with 31 binders left over? Or does it mean 13 binders with what left over? 31 what? Well it always comes back to what we started with, which is paper. So 13 binders can be filled with 31 
sheets left. Okay, so we can almost make um, we can almost make 14 binders fill up, but we would need what 14 more sheets of paper. There's 31 sheets of paper filled up. Okay, or I'm sorry, there's 31 sheets of paper left over. All right, so hopefully you uh, did good. This was kind of like a two for one deal, um, working on some problem solving, but then also um, practicing dividing by two digits in each one of those problems. And it was also some good practice with interpreting uh, what remainders meant in this last one. All right, so hopefully you uh, found this helpful and we will check you out on the next one.